Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here, and I'm doing something very different than what I've normally done on this show, and I'm actually doing a commission, well I did a commission, for a marine that's actually leaving the squadron. So this is a, essentially a going away present for him. Now I don't personally know the marine, I don't even know his name, but a bunch of his friends and, and colleagues within his workshop came to me, and they seen a lot of the painted builds I do, and they're like, hey, we're going to give you this toy, and we want you you to paint it up like his actual um, you know crane that he or uh, excavator that he actually uses for his workshop so I was like okay it seems like an easy challenge um, so this is the toy I'll put in the, the little picture right here this is what they gave me this yellow toy and I'll show you a picture of what he actually uses in real life so there is you know obviously a lot of differences here and tackling this toy I really I'm not like 100% good with weathering and all that so I decided to go ahead and just take a challenge and try my hand at some uh, rust colors and some other little oil streaks and things of that nature so first looking down here at the tracks I did try my hand at making it rust I'm just not like the best at it I need to practice a hell of a lot more but I did give it my effort uh, all this weathering was in one day it wasn't over time so the Priming took one day, which I, I'm, it was really more of like an hour. I just primed it, and then it took me like another couple of hours to do all the base coating. But once I got all the base coating on, um, I took one, you know, like maybe five hours in a day to get the weathering on there, and then uh, you know did a top coat. But I did try my hand at the rust effects, and you know it looks okay. It's not the best, obviously, but hey, I think it was a. It, it was an effort that's that's pretty much what I was going for now looking at the rust I did on the back it really did not come out uh, in the way I really wanted to maybe it's just because I used too strong of like a rust orange I used rust orange and I used brown uh, it was I mean, things like a wood brown to kind of like contrast the colors but it didn't come out exactly how I wanted to. But this is pretty much what it was like on the actual uh, excavator. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just put the rust in the back uh, more heavily than anywhere else on the base of the uh, the machine. But it doesn't seem like it was that much on the actual machine. So I, I think I went a little bit too heavy with it. If I would have toned it down just a little bit, it probably would have came out a little bit better. And we have the same thing going on with this side. So... Once again, just, you know, oil and try and do some rust here and there. Uh, you know, I think the oil streaks look a lot better, but man, I just, I really need to practice more. So I'm going to figure out what kits I can utilize to, you know, just make it a lot better than what, uh, what I've done here. And here for the bucket, once again, it had a lot of, uh, rust on it. The way that the actual one looked, it just it was just like completely rusted over. And I was like, that, it kind of looks ugly. Although it's a one-on-one -on -one recreation that could have did, I decided to tone down the rust for uh, this and just, you know, make it more light based. Uh, so, yeah, I, I did more streaks and I just did rusted spots. And then on the front teeth, I did some mud as well as just some dirt and all that. So it has like those streaks and stains from all the mud as if it was more or less recently used and it's just kind of been sitting there so that's kind of like what I went with a little bit hard to see on the inside just because the lighting's pretty pretty crap over here but I just did a lot more of mud as well as a little bit of rust inside there as well as dirt and some light oil stains as well as rust right here on the uh, neck of the excavator so it looks it looks good I wanted to paint all these like hydraulics and, and pipings different colors but for the Marine Corps we actually just utilize you know the green because of camouflage obviously so I didn't want to go outside the realm of what is realistic when it comes to military equipment this is his uh, machine that you know basically he utilizes so I didn't want to send him off with something that just isn't a um, proper recreation of what he actually utilizes so I uh, basically just kept it all green because well that's the uh, the equipment that he uses so if you're wondering why I haven't been making any videos uh, pretty much this past week it's really because of this uh, I gave it a little bit extra attention and uh, it took away from my other builds but it was for a good cause it's a machine that someone really you know someone joined the Marine Corps to do this and you know them doing it with the unit I'm a part of um, I, I just think it's 
really wholesome to send them away with something they could take away, you know, with them. Uh, usually we do plaques or we do some kind of like little souvenir, but it's something that's usually stock or is, I'm not going to say meaningless, but it doesn't have like that full commitment. And I don't see too many people leaving here with things that another person has built. Usually something woodworking, someone might carve uh, something out of wood or it might be metal uh, working. I've even seen people leave with a suit of armor, which is like pretty damn cool. Um, but this is something that is a little more unique. You rarely see anyone leave with models or in this case, a toy that was uh, painted and built. I did give him my all. I do hope he enjoys it. Uh, I, it was actually really fun to build it. Well, not build this. I keep on saying build because I'm so used to building things. But it was really fun to take a toy that looked horrible because it was just yellow and ugly and then turn it into something that I think actually is pretty presentable. Um, something I might actually do in the future. You know, I, I'm talking with a couple of Marines and uh, they may be wanting to utilize my uh, skills in the future. So. With every build, with every paint it thing I, I do, I'm hoping I can keep increasing my skills. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. And if you can, like, subscribe. If you have not already, share this video with people that you know. And like always, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.